Emma has found her answer. Up, Woody Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Promised Neverland chapter 129. So, um, for those of you that don't know, um, the Promised Neverland anime adaptation is getting uh, a second season in 2020. And I really, really hope that uh, Cloverworks actually um, includes more of the psychological warfare and mystery thriller elements in the season two anime adaptation because we're at least getting the musica arc and um uh we're gonna get uh, we're definitely gonna get the yugo uh content and maybe even the start of the goldie ponds arc maybe even uh, uh, depending on how many episodes um that they're gonna uh do and the thing was for those of you that don't know i did drop uh the promised neverland at episode three because there were so many important elements missing also a lot of important content was missing and they were cloverworks was making the promised neverland more of a horror um series instead of that mystery thriller psychological um series that it's supposed to be and that really really frustrated me so i really I was really disappointed and I just really hope Cloverworks actually gives us at least the psychological warfare because they got no excuse because I know a lot of people were saying, well, there's the, you can't animate inner monologues and all that shit. That's a load of bullshit because go watch Kaki Osama Love is War because they, A1 Productions does it and they do it fantastically and artistically. So... Sorry, Cloverworks, you got no excuses this time. Anyway, um, <laughs> last chapter we got Emma's answer to um, Norman's uh, um, question about what she wants to do. And I freaking loved it. I love what she said about, um, I love what she said that she can't smile in a world where Musica is dead. And I gotta jump, uh, go on that point too. If the other kids found out that Musica was dead, their friend Musica was dead, they wouldn't smile either. So Norman's argument is completely destroyed right there. So, but I, I do like Emma's plan about just giving, uh, just fucking killing off the royalty and any of those other motherfuckers that are going to come after them. Give the rest of the, um, just give, um, the, you know, just, uh, not kill well not kill the demon uh the demon royalty just overthrow them and just you know punish them by having you know the blood transferred into the rest of the demons i think that's fair i really do uh but i do agree with norman about the human world that's the only thing i i, I really agree with them agree with him on but the other thing was um is about the seven walls i'm really excited that we're going to go to the seven walls um so suck it uh, for those people that are just like that are anti Emma right now. I'm sorry. Emma was bro totally shut down Norman. I'm so excited. And I really liked what Emma said to Norman, which was, dude, em Emma's just like, dude, you're focusing on probability. Fuck your probability. Your probability and, and calculations and shit. We're going to said that basically we were going to die if we, um, we were gonna die and we should have just stayed at Gracefield. Your probability is fucked up. Fuck your shit. Oh, oh, that was great. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Uh, recalling that day, his friends' voices are so distant now. It doesn't matter what you tell me. I've already made up my mind. I can't afford to make any mistakes. I won't let anybody else die. Norman, Ray, Emma, I'm... Everybody, oh, sorry, words. Every day, their lives were uh, steeped in blood. Oh my God, that's the oh, that's the the farm. Oh my God, are we gonna find out? Oh my God, are we gonna find out what what happened to the farm? Oh my God, please say we are. Um, chapter one twenty nine is titled "Something I Should Carry." What's going on? Okay, so we're getting a meeting right now because I because that's something we don't know. We don't know the experiments that were done on Norman or like, well, not the, we don't know like what drugs were put into him, I should say. Uh, yo boss, I was looking for you guys. Oh my God! Look what they did to this fucker, holy 
Holy shit! This is some brutal stuff! Ah! It's been a while since I've come here. I come here quite a bit myself. It always manages to calm me down. What do they want to talk about? Various things. Them not wanting to let the demons go extinct being one of them. So they really... So what happens now, boss? Don't be impatient. There will be no change to the plan. And also, the evil blood maiden is alive. Eh, isn't that bad? I thought about about that. I sorry, winnings. I've thought a bit about this. Leave it to me. It seems that she's friends with Emma and her acquaintances. Huh? Friends with that cursed blood? These could either uh, be very good or very bad circumstances. So that's why, huh? Because she really doesn't want to kill the demons. Why? Friends with the demons? Just what the hell is that? Demons aren't like that. There's just no way, right? How the fuck would you know? How the fuck would you know? You only know the demons that fucking experiment. I understand because she only knows the demons that um experimented on her. She does. I I understand why she has she she suffered from PTSD. I I understand that shit. But there's more than that. Like, oh my god, way to be so close-minded. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. Damn, ah, oh, it's here. My head is splitting open. Barbara, god, she's having the usual spasms. Damn it. The intervals between them have been getting less and less within the last few days. Not just her, but for all of us. What's gonna happen? Where's the medicine? It's in my room. Ah. Oh. I have some in reserve. Um, here, take it, Barbara. The amount of medicine needed has increased. And it's not just the frequency that's getting worse, but the symptoms, too. We very well could have very little time left. See, this is what demons are. We're just livestock to them. It's only natural. This is what demons are to us, cattle, damn it. Like, I can... Okay. For those of you that are gonna give me shit in the comment section... I totally understand where Barbara's coming from because that's all, she, again, I understand because that's all she knows. That's all she knows. And they're, they're probably going to die. If only, if only demons didn't exist. Hey boss, when you were gone, we talked with Emma and Ray. Um, they're nice kids, but that sweet talk they spewed out disgusted me. They're nice people, they really are, but even so. You're on our side, right boss? You're the boss, aren't you? Losing your way isn't something you can do, right? We've come this far. Uh, we've come this far. Of course there's no stopping now. February 2047. This is, um, this is it. Lambda's research data? This isn't enough, but it does have records on most of us cattle. Depending on what demons eat, how do they mutate? How they regenerate and degenerate and how they die? Ooh, shit. We really don't have enough data on you demons. Well, duh! Oh my god. I haven't lost my way. Everything from the beginning, I decided to do this alone. All of this is something that I should carry alone. Emma and Ray are kind, but kindness um, won't bring victory in this world. In reality, if I didn't um, choose to get shipped out, all of us wouldn't have been able to escape. That, you do not know that, Norman! Norman, shut the fuck up! You do not know that! If it actually, if it wasn't for Ray lighting that fucking fire, you guys, you motherfuckers wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been able to escape. So, so shut the fuck up, Norman! You are full of shit! You are full of shit! You do not know that for sure! You do not know that for sure. Stop it. Stop it, Norman. I have no regrets. But he does make a point about kindness. He does. And it just, it makes me think of what, um, uh, of what was said in Pokemon Adventures recently. Which was, uh, what the Pokemon said this to, uh, um, Y2. Which is basically, until, you know... Until the crisis at hand is um, uh, is basically taken care of, who gives a fuck about um, about if, as long as we're on the same side? Who gives a fuck? We don't need um, someone who uh, who um, has who's scared 
or emotional right now, that's not gonna get the crisis, uh, get the situation taken care of. We'll worry about that shit after, um, after we're done, uh, after the crisis is, uh, at hand is done. For now, we're allying with, uh, people who, um, people who are focused and emotionless for the most part. So I really, I, I totally agree with what Norman says in regards to the kindness part. I want to save them, Emma, Sislo, and all the rest of our comrades. For that reason, he, he is alone on the path to atonement. I'll gladly become a god or a devil if I have to, Emma. Oh my god, this panel! I love this pit. This final panel is so gorgeous. It's really... It, it's... Oh, man. Okay, so... Oh, is there any other... Thing? Okay, so here's my thoughts on this chapter. This Norman chapter was really, really good. I totally understand what Norman's thinking. I totally get it. And I, I just have this bad... I know a lot of you guys have been having this bad feeling about Norman. I know for a fact Norman's going to double-cross Emma, Emma and Ray. I know it. I know for a fact they're, that he's going to do it. He's going to do it because of this burden, because of this atonement. But I think Barbara, I think Barbara's good. But based on what this, uh, what's happening in this chapter or what's, what's said in this chapter, Barbara's going to die. Barbara's going to die before the plan is carried out. But shit, it looks like another thing that um, looks like they were doing, especially if you look at page uh, 14. It looks like they were experimenting on demons. They were doing the very same thing that the demons were doing to them. That makes that makes them, to me that makes them no better than than the demons. It really does. I'm sorry. This makes this makes them no. I I know. It, to, I'm sorry. Two wrongs don't make a right. I know what they did to the cow children was bad, and yeah, fuck them. But you didn't have to experiment on them like that. Come on. Two wrongs don't make a right here. You didn't have to do the same exact fucking thing. That's, oh God. I think what they're doing, I think what they did is even worse than what the demons did to them. Because what they did was, was their, they experimented with the de uh, demons regeneration. Well, I, I want to go back. To, to what what was what was said here depending on what demons eat how do they mutate how they regenerate and degenerate and how they die they took the fucking guards and they experimented on them they experimented on how they mutate how they regenerate and degenerate and how they fucking die that's horrible yeah they des yeah they deserve it but at the same time, the, they it wasn't. You gotta make the argument that I could, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. It wasn't exactly their fault. They were under orders. It was the higher ups fault. It was it was their boss's fault. They were ordered to do that shit. So, you, but at the same time, yeah, I can make you can make the argument that this is the Nazi argument that um, the Nazis perform the evil shit too. So fuck them. But at the same time, you didn't. See, what? And I'm gonna make the Nazi argument here. When the Nazis, when the Jews, um, were freed from the Nazi camps, right? And you know, when the Americans freed the Jews from the Nazi camps, you didn't see Jews experimenting on Nazis like this. You didn't see Jews doing this shit. Come on, man, Norman, this is bad. That this does not look good on you, man. I feel like that Norman and Barbara and them have become the monsters that uh, were ex the very monsters that they were experimenting on. I really feel that way. If they were, if, if, like, if they wanted to kill them, fine. Go ahead, kill the motherfuckers. That's enough karma. Fuck, you could have just left them tied up and just ran away. Personally, I would have just killed them. I mean, look what Emma did. Emma killed, like, they killed the demons at Goldie Pond and just, and just left. What? If they would have just killed them, then that would have been fine. At least for me. But, dude, this was just, 
I think uh, just to me, I feel like Norman is become uh, Norman is becoming the very monsters that he's trying to that he's trying to exterminate. I'm very very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Promise Neverland content, um, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, all that um, I will be seeing you later. Bye.